Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we're finally starting the office lounge makeover. I am so excited. This is the first makeover here at the office and it's a complete blank canvas. I'm Kristen, interior designer and home decor expert. I'm sharing all of my designer tips and tricks with you to help transform your house into the home of your dreams through DIY projects, affordable home decor, styling tips, and home organization. If I can do it, you can too. Let's make our homes look and feel their best. I want this space to feel completely different than the style I use in my own home. I usually go with a very light, muted color palette. The style is a little bit more traditional. And in here, I wanna switch it up completely, do a moodier color palette, work with some really fun elements and make it a little bit more modern, contemporary, and a little bit mid-century. This space was actually filled with dark gray carpeting and rubber black baseboards. So I just knew that had to go. The carpet was not durable. It was sucking all the light into it. And I wanted something that was gonna be brighter, lighter, and have a lot more durability. So I started out this makeover by ripping up the carpeting, taking out the baseboards so that we could start fresh with some new floors. None of it is hard, it's just very tedious. Maybe grab a buddy if you're doing this. Anyway, sorry, it is so echoey in here, but I'm gonna start sweeping everything up so we can head home for the day. I'm exhausted, we'll come back tomorrow. So we brought in vinyl plank flooring just to lay right on top of the concrete. It's a floating floor, it's an affordable, durable option to replace your carpeting. This is the first space you see right when you walk through the door and I wanna make a big impact. I want it to be inviting, for there to be comfortable seating, kinda of like a conversation area, and I wanna make it feel like you're out at like a cool restaurant lounge. I've created this mood board so I can see what all of my must-have pieces look like together. So I wanted a really cool funky sofa, comfortable seating, neon lights, a bar cart, and I'm gonna tie it all together with a dark and moody accent wall. All right, so I've got the space all ready for painting. I do want to do a fresh coat of white paint before we go ahead with our accent wall. The wall color right now is showing up like a little bit gray green and I'd rather have more of a warm, bright white. I'm doing polar bear for the walls, which is a nice, bright, warm white color. It's just gonna freshen everything up. We're gonna do ultra pure white for the trim and then limousine leather for our accent wall. Look what a difference a new shade of white makes. This is the old paint, this is the new paint. So much brighter. This looks so much more gray and dull and this is really just gonna brighten everything up. Amazing with all the new pieces coming in. 
I made little marks at about 62 inches across the walls so that I can connect all of those little dots I made with a straight piece of tape. I'm checking it to make sure that it's completely straight using my level and painting the top half the same polar bear white. While that's drying, I'm taping out the corners so that we don't get any leaking paint onto our new white walls and starting with the dark paint. So I'm starting from the bottom so I can work my way up. By the time I'm at the top, I'll be able to redo my straight line. I chose an eggshell finish so that there's a little bit of reflection in this paint and it's not a solid black wall. Sometimes that can look like a chalkboard. Now I'm retaping that straight line and actually sealing it with some caulking. This is gonna ensure that you get a super crisp straight line and you don't get any bleed through. If you have textured walls like I do, definitely don't skip this step because it totally works. Once the caulking dries, you can paint right over top of it. And once you've removed that tape, you'll end up with the straightest crisp line. All right, it's the next day and all the painting is complete. It's looking so good. I'm so relieved it's done because I'm honestly a little tired. Like that was a big long day of painting. But today is very exciting because it's furniture installation day. Article just called and said that the furniture is arriving in about 20 minutes. So I'm so excited to see everything in person. Every time I've done a makeover with Article, it's been for my sister. So she has all of this amazing furniture in her house and I'm so excited to finally have Article furniture in my own space. I can't wait to show you guys what I picked out for the space. Article is the easiest way to make your space instantly beautiful. All of their furniture is so stylish, comfortable, super high quality, and designed to last. I love that you can just shop online and it gets delivered straight to your door. They're doing contactless delivery right now just to ensure everyone's safety, so that made it really easy. They deliver to pretty much anywhere in the US and Canada for a flat rate of $49, and there's free shipping on all orders over $9.99. The first must have piece is this Hyra rug. I used this at my sister's house and I just thought it was the most comfortable, cozy rug. It adds so much texture and it's just a neutral base to ground all of my furniture on. Now I wanted a sofa to really pop against this dark wall. So I chose the Texada tan leather sofa. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest sofa ever. This sofa was the first thing I chose for the entire design. It really inspired me, these round shapes, the texture of it, the style of it. It's just so unique. And I knew it would be like the perfect highlight piece in here against a dark wall. Now I wanted little side tables beside the sofa. So I chose two of these Naro black side tables. They have a really amazing Carrera marble base, which is so heavy. And I know Christian will love these. He's all about the black and marble look and I'm so excited for him to see these. I've also been keeping him out of this space the entire time. So he has no idea what it's all gonna look like. Now, since we're going for this kind of retro look, I knew I needed this Kane Candra sideboard. This is brand new at Article and I just love the way it looks. They also have it in a media unit style so you can get one that's a little bit lower, but I love these round edges and the cane detail. I'm gonna bring in some straight lines and some more black in the middle of the room with a coffee table. This coffee table is from the Hearth and Hand collection and I love the double layer effect. It also kind of repeats that black straight line that you see on the wall and brings that shape and color down to the floor. Designing a space is all about repetition and that is the best way to do it. To complete this conversation area, I'm bringing in two of these boucle side chairs. When you have furniture that is not pushed up against the wall, make sure that you love the back of the chair as much as you do the front. So this chair looks good, honestly, from every single angle. I love the arms, the boucle fabric. It all just works perfectly with our new furniture. Mm -hmm. 
Now I absolutely wanted a little bar cart for this space. This one is from Ikea. It's brand new with their fall collection and I love that it's gold. It balances out those warm colors across the space and it's gonna be the perfect little addition to this space. A bar cart can be used for so many different purposes. So I think it's a very functional piece but I wanted to bring this in to really create that kind of restaurant bar lounge atmosphere. Even though it's fully furnished, it really still feels empty and incomplete. The decorating and styling will really take this room to the next level and really tie together all of these different elements. I've been shopping around for a while now to collect pieces for this space. I'm bringing in a ton of new decor, plants, lighting fixtures, and artwork to really bring this space to life. I got these two custom neons made from Yellow Pop. You can literally design your own neon, pick the colors, the size, everything, and they deliver it straight to your door. So this is super cool. I got one Chris and Chris sign for probably upstairs in the office, and then I wanted something a little bit more abstract down here, something that looks more like art instead of a sign. So this is a super cool kind of modern abstract take on two faces. So. I'm gonna say this is me and I'll call that one Christian. They even come with little remotes and all the mounting gear you need to put it right on the wall. So if you're looking for a really cool neon sign or wanna customize your own, definitely check out Yellow Pop. You can get 15% off the custom app and core collection using my code Kristen15. All the finishing touches are in and I can't even believe the way this space looks. It is completely different from where we started. It's also completely different from anything I've ever done before and that's what's so exciting about it. I love that it's dark and moody and kind of retro and it's everything I planned for this space. So I cannot wait to show Christian. He hasn't seen the space since I started so I have no idea what he thinks I did in here but I hope he really loves it. So I'm gonna bring him in and see what he thinks of our new and improved office lounge. Keep your eyes shut and I'm gonna turn you around. Do you remember what the room used to look like? Yep, empty. Completely empty. Okay. I wanted to make it moody and cool and a little mix of both of us. So on the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh my god! What do you think? Dude! Oh, you weren't lying when you said it's like a set. It literally looks like a set. This feels like a set. And the bar cart came out. Right? Too. And the neon? The Isn't this sign the coolest? The sign is so sick. Insane. Right? It looks like such a picture perfect room. Pillows in the different accents. <laughs> it's all like ties in so well. The side tables are really nice too. It's so nice that it's like it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like a place that you would go in and sit down. It's that nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like a cozy home. It's supposed to be a little bit more like posh, high-end office. Right. You know? So this now represents us when we walk through the door. You killed it. I am so 
glad he loves the space. I really tried to keep both of us in mind when designing the space and really bring in those moodier, darker colors that he loves and the lighter, brighter textural look that I usually go after. Next up, we're gonna flip the cameras to the other side of the room and work on the entryway and coffee bar. I really wanna tie together this entire room and really push this style we've done on this side over to the other side of the room so it feels totally complete. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. We have so many more makeovers to complete at the office and this space was really the jumping off point. So now that we have the design style going and the color scheme going, we're gonna continue it throughout the rest of the office and it's going to be amazing. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss those upcoming makeovers. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!